Hey everyone, so this video is pretty off the cuff. I was actually in the middle of renovating our set and changing some things up on the set, but I saw more YouTube comments on our Vulcan and our DX12 videos, and they started to drive me a little crazy. So the comments that we're seeing lately are along the lines of, why are you testing Vulcan or DX12 so early? It's not even done yet. The games aren't done yet. None of this is adequately supported. All you're doing is making these things look bad. Well, here's the thing about that. So first of all, to think that because something is new and unfinished, it should not be tested is just horribly short-sighted, and it's for a million reasons. The main one is that our site is pretty scientific in its approach to everything. So when we get news that a new API is in the pipes or a new game is being developed or anything like that, we start testing it as soon as it is possible. And that's because we want to plot the trend line of this thing improving because that's really cool data, right? If we look at Vulcan now, today, we look at Talos principle, whatever it is, and see that this thing's actually a little bit worse than DX11 right now, but maybe three months from now, it's actually starting to achieve parity. Then three months later, it starts surpassing it as the developers have predicted, maybe a 30% gain or whatever. That's really cool to see. That is progress. And first of all, from a media standpoint, there are a lot of sites that are all gonna be benchmarking this stuff as soon as it comes out and we've gotta compete. Secondly, from an analytical, from a scientific standpoint, from an industry standpoint, we need to see how this stuff actually iterates. Does it do what it says it can do from a marketing standpoint? All these companies, they're all DX12, Vulcan this, Vulcan that, DX12 can do all these things. But as soon as it's available, we don't touch it because the game's not done or whatever the complaints are on YouTube. That's just, that's just bad. That's a bad approach to anything because then we're, we're really not validating these claims that the marketing people are making at the various companies, the API companies, GPU companies, the game companies. So we validate those claims, first of all, and then we make huge giant disclaimers all throughout the video and the content that basically say, you know, look, this might not be done yet. Here's what we know right now. It's pretty cool, it might happen, or maybe the converse, maybe it's terrible and won't happen. But for DX12 and Vulcan, we've basically said, you know, this stuff is cool. It's on the right track. It can actually do great things for games. These new APIs, they can really tap into hardware in a way that can't be done with DX11 or whatever other APIs, OpenGL, and that's cool stuff. But we also put it into perspective of, you know, this isn't something that you download today. You don't just download Vulcan, so to speak. That is something I've seen asked. You don't just download these things, these APIs, or go download games that actually do support them. That's, that's the way it really works. You get a game that has it integrated. You don't just pull one of those down the pipes and immediately see improvement. No, actually right now, it's all sort of up in the air while developers are trying to integrate properly from the ground up. That's something we talk about with Chris Roberts in our interview with him about Vulkan and DX12, where basically he says, you know, it's gonna take some time for games to properly support these new APIs. And that's because they basically have to be built from the ground up. Yeah, you can just do pointers and calls and change the calls from DX11 to 12 or whatever. So technically it will execute on the new API, but that doesn't mean it's actually taking advantage of it and talking to the CPU or talking through explicit multi-GPU functions or whatever other feature set you wanna access. Those have to be added manually. So yes, it takes time. The games have to be built from the ground up. We've said that several times in the videos and tried to talk everyone through why these APIs take so long to really get to market in a perceptible manner rather than the way they are right now, which is they're technically available as libraries to developers, but they're not really executing for gamers. So we talk about all that, but I just wanted to point out that, you know, to say that it's not good to test something because it's not done is very short-sighted. We wanna build up a database. We wanna see all this data as it progresses. It'd be really cool to build charts and show Here's how this technology was a year ago when we first tested it, when it was in its early stages, not beta, but in early stages or maybe even beta. And then here's where it was six months ago. Here's where it is today. And this is the trend line. We can see an improvement, whatever, it overtakes some other technology, something like that. So that's really cool. That's the content that we've done in the past and is a lot of fun to work on. It's fun for everyone to watch and read and that's why we test these things constantly, aside from the fact that we're also validating claims where we've got these you know, billion and million dollar companies just dumping resources into marketing over APIs or what have you. We have to validate that to protect the consumer or whatever, all that other stuff that I've basically just explained the last few minutes here. So that's all for this. I just wanted to really jump on camera here in the middle of adding 
to our set. I've been building a new set wall over here off camera. And uh, I saw those comments and needed to jump on camera and talk about it. So that is all for this video. As always, hit the link in the description below to check out the channel and the website. Subscribe if you like it. Hit us up on Patreon, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. And of course, I know not all the fans and viewers you know, are, are against testing Vulcan or DX12. I know that. But just for those who have been adamant that it's technology that shouldn't for some reason be tested right now, Wanted to put this out there. So thank you for watching and listening to the half rant, half explanation. I will see you all next time.